Okay, I guess it's recording right now. Oh, well, now the light's on. Why isn't there any image then? Wait, did I like, is it off of the screen or something? How about this? How about I remove it? Maybe I'll do that while talking. Uh, so if you're listening, howdy. Um, got a bit of a problem here. Seems my webcam is not showing anything. Why? What the heck? I don't know why it wasn't showing up. Why am I all the way on the left side of the screen? Okay, so this is just a vlog because I needed to do something and I wasn't... Ugh, I wasn't in the mood to do anything else. Like, I was trying to edit some Stardew Valley and all of a sudden, just, he walked into the yard full of animals, there's just animals everywhere, and I just, like, all of a sudden, all this stress just hit me, like, I can't watch this right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I'm just looking for some random pictures that I could put up here. Because this is what I do when I play with OBS, I always wind up grabbing some random picture and just st sticking it on the screen and being like, oh, hey. Look at this, look at this Falco over here, you know? I guess I should be thankful. Well, that's there to stay now. I never know where to, like, part my hair. Like, sometimes I part it on the side, and I always turn the wrong way, too. Because I can't, like, comb it up in front of my face, because then I get this, you know? And then it's like, oh, yeah, sure. So I brought the mag flu back with me from MAGFest, so... <laughs> I guess the good thing I didn't ride on a plane, because then I just would have given it to a bunch of other people. But anyway, um... Final Fantasy fourteen over here. I would pan the camera towards it, but then there's a risk that you might see this. This is a... I'm not going to show this for very long, because it's potentially an SFW. Yeah, um... Somebody sent me that. Yeah, um, it's part of something bigger, and I'm just not going to say what it is. But, uh, yeah, so it's over there. I don't know. That's why I didn't want to pan the camera towards the TV, because then you would have seen it there. Um, but it's Final Fantasy XIV. I started playing it last night with Lucogen. Yeah, I didn't really have that much planned to say, because most of the stuff that I have to say, I've been saying in the Stardew Valley videos. Like, that's my vlog right there. It's like, there's really no point in making a vlog here if I could just say something there. It's like, I'm always trying to find ways to keep those videos interesting, and the only way to keep them interesting is just talk about my life, so that's what I do. And I have been a little surprised that I've actually managed to think of a few good stories to tell here and there on some of those videos. But then that leaves me nothing to talk about here, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm playing video games. I downloaded one, it's called Blossom Tales. It's kind of like Link to the Past, basically. It's ba it's kind of basically just a, a shameless ripoff of Link to the Past, but... But it was fun enough, it was worth a play. So I beat it in like 10 hours, I actually beat it while I, while I was at MAGFest. So that was fun. Other than that, I still got to make business cards, but... Because I'm down to, like, two business cards. right? I think I got one of them sitting here somewhere. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Go figure. <laughs> of course it's in the bathroom. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, put it on nice and thick there. So now I'm all off-center, and all you can see is my screen over there. Okay, maybe I can move you over, then. The problem is if I move you over, then those boobs come into view. You see them over there? Yeah, boobs. Oh, yeah, well, I'll tell you what. So, yeah, not much else to talk about. It's been pretty cold, so can't really get out much. Do much walking or anything like that, so I'm trying to do whatever I can in here, you know, to keep keep the blood moving. I have a screwdriver I bought in here. Brought in here, like, a month ago. I have no idea why it's still in here, but I can always use it as a weapon if somebody tries to break in here. I always try to like visualize how I, how I would escape the room if somebody broke in. What would I use? Would I close the door in the shower? Would I duck down and maybe hope that if they shot, they would think they shot me, but they really didn't or something, you know? Stupid to think about things like that, but I don't know. Any hooves in. I mean, my desk is such a mess right now. I got a wrapper from a Swiss cake roll, which I probably shouldn't have eaten, but it was like the only one I ate this week, so maybe that's okay. Dirty napkins and applesauce dish, and that's not. What is that? And some piece of paper in there. Um, got my directions to get through the Cloister of Trials on the Final Fantasy X stream. Probably just go ahead and throw those. Well, this one's for Bavel, which I haven't been there yet. 
I'm gonna hang on to that one. Uh, <laughs> this one's an IOU. This is a car. Might want to hang on to that one. Yeah, there's not that much going on. There's not going to be another con until PAX East in April, so I'll be there on my birthday. That'll be fun. I actually made a basket for a change. Um, I have a letter I need to mail off, but I <laughs> need to get out to the post office first and to send it off, but it's too cold. I know, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> uh -oh. oh, man. Otherwise, not much happening. I did pick this up at Star, or, um, I did pick this up at Mag MAGFest, which I had been wanting to. I actually saw it at PAX East, or PAX West, rather, and I almost got it then, but I didn't, and I regretted it, so I'm like, okay, this time I'm not gonna miss it, so I got it. It's still in the plastic, though, kind of neat. I almost don't want to take it out of the plastic, but then, like, what's, why not? What, do you think it's gonna be worth $100 in a few years? And even if it was, what's $100, you know? Well, what that's gonna pay like what 0.2 percent of your hospital bill, you know? Welcome to my head, you know, the inside of my mind. I tell you. Still, oh, dude, I didn't know the bag was open. I was gonna show you my bag of tapes. I still haven't copied any of those tapes. Maybe that's what I should do. I'm sitting here trying to like think of something to do. Well, that would be perfect. Cause like I'm always trying to think of like podcasts and stuff that I can listen to in the background while I do other stuff. And for a while, I was listening to the G Club, but there's only so many episodes of that. And for a while, I was listening to Rite 27's Lost Ramp, but you can only listen to that so many times before you start to feel like a zealot, almost. Like an anti-lost zealot, and there, which I'm not, you know, because I love the show. I mean, there's nothing else really too new here. The toilet's still here. The trash bags are still here. The Wind Waker strategy guide is still sitting behind the toilet. I'd always like picture myself reading it when I would take a dump, but I haven't read it in the last few hundred dumps, so oh well. I mean, after a while, you leave something there long enough, you just kind of forget that it's there. And I just noticed it earlier today. I was like, wow, when was the last time that my brain acknowledged that that thing was there? Yeah, whatever. Not much new to report on the mom situation. She's been doing, she's been doing all right. Um, I've been helping her out a little, like, like, I know I tell people I moved here to kind of take care of her and stuff, but at first that wasn't even really what it was, I was just wanted to be with her for a little while, but then when it turned out that she did have cancer, I was like, okay, it's a good thing I came here then, so, but for the last, like, couple of months, it's been really hard for her to move around, so, so I've been, like, helping out with, uh, I don't know, like, making her tea or whatever, uh, doing the dishes, I mean, that's the kind of stuff I should be doing anyway, but... You know, like just picking up trash and stuff for her or whatever, or getting her a new water bottle or something. So, that's kind of cool. It actually makes me, I mean, I, she, I know she wouldn't believe this if I told her, but it actually kind of makes me happy that, you know, to feel useful. I mean, not that I'm happy about the situation, but just I'm happy to feel useful, you know. So, that's cool. But yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, they, they've been talking about surgery for basically since the beginning. They still haven't done it. They said they were going to do it after the chemo because they thought that would work to get it shrunk down enough, but it didn't. And so they went to radiation, and apparently, I guess that did work, and that did get it down, but then after that, well, that just ended like a month ago. I don't know what they've done since then, besides more MRIs and PETs and CATs and MSGs and BMWs and B&D and who knows what else they're doing. I'm almost, I almost kind of can't help but get the feeling that maybe they don't want to do the surgery because it's too risky or something or that there's no point I don't really know it just it seems weird they've been talking about for this long like, why don't they just do it you know I don't understand you know and then there's this whole thing we were talking the other day because I know I don't know how people around here like people watching this video how you feel about you know marijuana and stuff but like it's no secret that that it's been a popular thing to do to help with pain, you know, like cannabis and all that. I've heard about it. I've been hearing about it for like the last four years. And uh, I guess apparently, I don't know how much he really wants me talking about this in here, but I, I guess apparently they had a way to maybe get some, but the doctor said she couldn't do that, that she's not allowed to use marijuana and it's part of this big contract she signed and everything. 
you know, in a way, it's a relief because that stuff would be really expensive to get. But at the same time, the Percocet is expensive too. But I almost can't help but feel like, I mean, the doctors say she can't have marijuana, but she can still smoke cigarettes. That's okay. <laughs> it's like, what is that? I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all. Unless they did say she can't smoke cigarettes, so she just refuses to quit or something. I don't know. But, um... <laughs> But, like, I can't help but feel like there's this thing in the back of my head. I can't help but think maybe they just don't want her to use marijuana because they don't want her to find out how good it is because then she would stop buying the Percocet and it would cut into their business, you know? Big Pharma and all that. The Lord knows, I tell you. Because otherwise, I don't see what's wrong with her using it. If it's okay to smoke cigarettes, I don't see why marijuana is so harmful. But, I mean, I, I arguably cigarettes are worse than marijuana in terms of what they do to you, so I don't know. But hey, I'm not the one running the show, so, you know. But, you know, you just live it one day at a time. What else can you do? I've had a couple of friends, actually, have, you know, told me they're dealing with similar things. One in particular, actually, just found out that his dad's got it, and his dad's supposedly going in for surgery tomorrow as we speak. So, best wishes to you. Um, Green Day Rock 1982, was that your name? I can actually look here. I don't know if you're watching this. Green Day Rock 92, yeah. Salutations to you, good sir. Best of luck, and best of luck to your dad. It's not an easy thing, I tell ya. But yeah, as far as those mystery note vlogs, like, I know somebody did ask me, like, is this it for the mystery note vlogs? Are we gonna keep going with this? Like, I, I really need to just figure out what I'm, like, how I'm gonna react to it. I don't think... I actually tried to make a video reacting to it about a month ago, and I actually had it in editing, and I was, you know, going through it and everything, and then I realized there were a lot of things that I didn't really address that I should have addressed in the reaction video. Like, like any any normal person would address these things. Like the fact that he said, oh... Because most of what I talked about in the reaction video was, oh, well, I, I become president in the future, and yet I break this confidentiality to send word of time travel back to my past self. Like, any responsible president wouldn't do that. Yeah, so, and I called my future self out on it and said, maybe you shouldn't be president, and I'm not going to attempt to become president if that's what I'm going to end up doing when I get there, because that's... Because if you can't be trusted with confidential information, like, you have to be able to be trusted with that. But there was one thing that I, that I didn't talk about in the reaction video, which is why I never posted it. And that thing was the fact that I said in that video that my future self said he didn't remember going to leave the thing in the park, I think that's what he said. And I never addressed that, like, I never analyzed that part of it, so... There's like a slight delay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and turn this off. I'm, I'm, whatever. This is, <laughs> this is a vlog or something resembling one. And maybe next time I'll do another one. Till then, peace out, yo. <coughs> Dang it, kicked in my hand. <coughs>